Well, tonight at 6, we're learning more about that woman who was found dead with a python wrapped around her neck. Tonight, the Benton County Coroner confirms today that Laura Hurst was strangled by the snake. Now, we sent our Dustin Grove to Oxford, just northwest of Lafayette, where he spoke with some her, of her friends. They share more now about her life and her legacy. Those who knew Laura Hurst describe her as a free spirit who loved animals, so much so that she would often rescue animals unwanted by others, and not just snakes. Anytime she had an animal in her hand. Cameron Logan teaches people about reptiles and was friends with Laura. In fact, they did reptile outreach together. These are pictures from one of their demonstrations at a pet store. He says Laura was experienced when it came to handling snakes. He told me it's obviously impossible to know for sure what went wrong inside this house here in Oxford. But he doesn't want people to remember how Laura died. He wants you to remember how she lived. She was just so happy and lit up around reptiles, and she was always so enthusiastic to talk to people about them. The world needs more people with that passion and with that love, the general love for animals. It's a travesty. It really is. The Benton County Sheriff also calls this a tragic accident and added that no one should handle a snake larger than six feet by themselves. In Benton County, Dustin Grove, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And the Benton County Sheriff is a fellow reptile enthusiast who has handled snakes for more than two decades. The sheriff owns the house and is the one who found Laura on Wednesday.